boy, it's finally Halloween. I am so excited. I got these. These are like dragon slippers. Very scary, very spooky slippers. I will be wearing these this episode. I also heard that this year, everyone needs to wear a mask. So, I ordered these from my favorite Halloween supplier, Silver Shamrock. My favorite Halloween supplier, Silver Shamrock. This is in no way a movie reference to Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Great, we have to wear a mask. I guess you could say I'm covered. Ah. Very funny, Raps, very funny. Uh, we got uh, jack-o'-lantern mask, a skeleton skull, and a very scary witch. And of course, each mask comes with an authentic silver shamrock disc that is in no way a secret electronic chip meant to kill me. I also got this giant bag of candy for all the trick-or-treaters that will be visiting this year. And oh my god, look at that! I got a Greg the Lobster plush inside my bag of candy. How weird is that? Only a few days left to pre-order. Last reminder, folks, limited time only. Once it's gone, it's gone. Get a Greg the Lobster plush. Please. Because it's always raining, we never get trick-or-treaters. I forgot to tell you. Well, you didn't tell me that. What am I supposed to do all this candy now? I'll eat it. No, that's okay. I think I'll eat it. No, I can eat it. No, I'm going to eat it. I can eat it. I'm eating no, it. I no, said I'm, I'm eating it. So things for Chad weren't going well. He thought he'd read a good luck spell. But he misread and then he fell under a curse. But they're not the worst They're often kind of funny We can watch them first and then converse With no Welcome, my misfortunate friends, to yet another episode of Cursed Commercials. Oh, the Cursed Commercials Halloween Special! This is the show where we watch and write out of ten how cursed each commercial is that we watch, and tonight we're exclusively watching nothing but bad Halloween commercials. So, Let's begin. Oh my god! Candy's typically marketed at children, and do you think children's gonna find joy in seeing something like this? That might be the most short and most cursed candy commercial I think I've ever seen. Starting out strong with like an 8. 8 out of 10. So call me at 1-900-909-2233 and you'll hear the funniest monster jokes like What's a vampire's favorite sport? Basketball! <laughs> or the one about the ghoul who missed her mummy! <laughs> you'll also find out how to get these scary street signs featuring my friends Dracula, Wolfman, and Frankenstein. It costs $2.45 for a two-minute message, so ask your mom or dad if it's okay before you call 1-900-909-2233. I'm dying to make you laugh! <laughs> Sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. I wanted to talk to the creepy skeleton. As much as I wanted calling the phone number to work, there really is no point for this to exist. If you want to read terrible, bad pun Halloween jokes, I mean, you can look them up on the internet for free now. You don't have to pay, what was it, $2.50 a minute? So... I do like the charm of this commercial. Not a very cursed commercial. That's like a three. Whoa, neon. Whoa. Wake up, 
Would you look at that? The Kool-Aid man's having some type of inner conflict with himself. If only having a party when you were younger was actually like this, just a giant room of other people your age drinking out of giant glasses of Kool-Aid. If really it could have only been like this. This one was pretty nostalgic, but this one was like a two. Count Chocula presents Mickey. Something happens to Mickey at bay, like... Chocolate! The chocolate monster in him comes out for a bite. Chocolate! Of that double chocolatey delight. Count Chocula! All right! Chocolatey cereal with chocolatey marshmallow bats. Satisfies a chocolate monster in no time flat. The monstrously good part of a complete breakfast. If you crave chocolate too, Count Chocula can satisfy the chocolate monster in you. <laughs> this commercial has everything. Creepy adult actor in very creepy makeup, a creepy chocolate monster, uh, an extremely dated morphing technology that we always like to pause in the middle to see what kind of cursed results we can get. This one's up there. This is like a seven. What the heck, Coca-Cola? Why didn't you show us the one thing we wanted to see? What happened when he, like, got up off the couch? What happened? That one was just a tease. I'm giving that a one. Kind of mad about that one. Those off! Those off! Nouvelle orange et la rouge. Mais pourquoi il est encore plus méchant que méchant? Pasco! Et Pasco! There's a lot of intensity in this commercial. This like drink type beverage has these saw type weapons, and for some reason has a motivation to kill these random people camping, and then ends up in some type of shed somewhere where there are other Halloween monsters. That's a four. 1947, a UFO crash in America. 1948, wagon wheels, a disc-shaped biscuit was launched. Coincidence? The secret is the marshmallow. It's really marshmallow. What is he saying? The secrets to the marshmallow? It's marshmallow? <laughs> what? The secret is the marshmallow. It's really marshmallow. The secret is that the marshmallow is actually marshmallow. Any way I interpret this, it doesn't like. Why are we? Why are we saying this? <laughs> it's them. They use the marshmallow to control our minds. Just listen to this. If you're watching this, help us discover the secret. The truth is in there. I don't think the marketing team at Wagon Wheels gets enough credit. Uh, this is uh, this is a masterpiece right here. Very scary. Uh, that's like a. I'll give them a six. They deserve at least a six. All electrodes in place. Here's rapid eye movement. We should see a response on these monitors shortly. You can make the fruity taste of Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal part of your complete breakfast. Fruit? Where's this coming from? There's a lot of activity in the amygdala. That's the taste and smell sector. Just falling, just falling. Uh oh, quick, shut down. What is this implying? If you eat Fruit Loop cereal, you can in 
Herit, uh, terminal medical condition. What does this mean? Dr. Thompson, run! The fruit taste you dream about. Eight out of ten. This looks like a newer commercial, but everything about it tells me that it should be an older commercial. Mummy's here. here. It's a Backstreet Boys cover replacing the words with Aldi's, the grocery store chain. I'm giving that like a seven. That's, uh, it's a very cursed combination. Backstreet Boys should sue. The deadly go on. You know what it's like to get it right between the eyes? Ah! To see the juice squirt out of your family like the 4th of July? Oh. Ever hear a scream so loud? It scrambled oh. your intestines and the burning light right before the fall. <laughs> Only a pro could do this. Recognize him? Uh, that's the one! <laughs> Gamecom Pocket Pro, the only portable cartridge system that plays Resident Evil 2. What the frick is the Gamecom Pocket Pro? How have I never heard of this until just now? Also, I guess it had Resident Evil 2 on it in its amazing graphics. What a gross out commercial. That's like a four. Vamos a ver con esto. ¿Qué pasa? No sé, por más que intento no sale nada acá. ¿Puedo ayudarlo? <laughs> what the frick is happening? Aquí lo tiene. Oye, ¿dónde estudió este pata? En IDAD. En computación es un monstruo. Grupo IDAD, primera organización tecnológica con nivel universitario. That was great. I don't know what that's implying. Something causes this man to become a werewolf and then become extra productive at his job, apparently. Any commercial that's got these, like, Awkward and weird morphing effects. They have a place in my heart. Frick it, that's a nine. Trick or treat. Hey. Ah, 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 First, ah, they're sour. Ah, ah, then they're sweet. Thanks, guys. Sour Patch Kids. Sour, sweet, gone. You got this Sour Patch Kid pulling on one hair on the kid's body and then they use the same screaming sound effect over and over again. That's a nine. Looking for this? Come to Kmart for all your Halloween goodies. Hundreds of costumes, all 40% off. Frightful decorations, great candy. Halloween's totally goo at Kmart. Goo. Ah, yes. The one place you can get a jug of blood, Kmart. Well, now that I can't go to a Kmart, where am I going to get my jugs of blood from? Nothing was more spooky than the blue light special. That's like a three. Once again, Sarah Purcell is going to tempt fate to show us how fast she can use the real yellow pages to find, say, a cooking school. What's that down there? Boiling oil, Sarah. Oh, Ooh, I didn't know rope burned that fast. What? Bubble, bubble. Toil in trouble. Here, I found it! Oh, just in time. Ha! Nothing saves you time like the real yellow pages. It's here or nowhere. I don't know why, but it's like the weirdest thing to me that something as simple as the yellow pages needed an advertisement in the first place. It's actually a strange thought to think that phone books even still exist, or at least they do where I live. But I don't remember the last time I actually got one. Such a weird artifact that has seemed to survive time. Also, there's no way you can actually find anything in the yellow pages that fast. At least if you're looking for something very specific. In reality, we all would have fell into the oil. 
That's a six. even have to explain my reasoning. That's a 10. Oh yeah, this is the commercial you're supposed to watch while wearing your silver shamrock mask. It's been playing all week. Forgot. Don't forget to get a uh, Greg plush. Don't forget to get a Greg plush. Click the link in the description. Once he's gone, he's gone. Okay, that's it. Have a happy and safe Halloween, everyone. And don't forget to wear a mask. Raps are, raps are you okay? Uh.